Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to make a quick um, maze and then we're going to import it into Unity, uh, not Unity, Unreal. <laughs> um, so we've got our screencast keys, not working, there we go. Right, so let's get rid of the key, we can get rid of the camera and the light as we don't need it. We need to go to a website called mazegenerator.net um, I found a good one to be 7x7 seven seven, but obviously you can change the width and the height for yourself um, just download it as an SVG oh that's good <laughs> look at that one <laughs> straight down the centre there <laughs> Oh, good luck if you get that one. Right, here we go, we've got a new one. So we're gonna download that. <coughs> um, and save to file. We're gonna go back into a Blender and import um, SVG. Wherever you saved your um, SVG file, um, that's mine there. Um, you will notice that it's like really really small so you just need to select all and just scale scale it on up <coughs> okay oh so I'm kind of gonna fit it in the square there that will do what you will need to do is reset your scale so if you go back into object oh you're already in object mode do a control and a and just hit that scale so it's all back to ones go into edit mode make sure you are select all um right what we need to do is convert this sorry go back into object mode object convert to mesh from curve okay and then we just need to go back into edit mode select edges and a to select all what we've got to do now is just extrude on the z oh on the z um i'm doing mine at about two meters ish okay um, what we do need to do is select, go into overlays and turn on your normals so you can see where your normals are. Um, you can make them a bit longer just so you can see where they are. Um, so what I normally do is just select faces there and select all these faces. Make sure the blue line is facing you and then extrude on the Y and then again on this these faces do the same do, do, select them all and again do the same we need to extrude this time on the x do, do, do. so there's our maze you can obviously mess about just get the edges there and pull them so they're nice for the tutorial we'll just leave it like that so we can just switch our overlays off okay I'm quite happy with that go to file and then we need to export as an FBX and go into wherever you want to save it mine is um, just gonna turn there and then find that and select that okay right I'm happy with that now what you need to do is open Unreal I've started a um, a game um, which is first person um, so it's sort of got all the bits and pieces in it will have walls in there which I just took down I left a couple of boxes in there because with the first person you get like a gun so you can shoot stuff um, what you need to do now is go to the folder where your, where your FBX file is and just drag it 
<coughs> um, into your into a new folder I just call my maze so you can just drag it in into there and then import now if you haven't done this correctly you will get a lot of errors um, and it'll only like maybe bring in two walls that's probably because you didn't um, you didn't reset the scale um, so we just select all those bring them in now I think it was R to go into scale mode and we'll just take that and it's W just to move it about um, I'm just going to scale it up a bit more like there um, I just need to find my little first person de de de. Uh, where are you first person character alright ok so he's at the end there um, which is good as you can see here in the little preview screen the walls are massive um, so it just depends and then hit that play button and here you are in the actual maze itself um, as I say I left a little couple of little blocks in there I don't I, this is a new maze that's been generated so don't expect me to get to the end anytime soon because I don't know unless we had that one that was all going straight through anyway download Unreal um, go to that maze generator.net create your own maze in there just import it SVG and then yeah you're good to go I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got a lot out of it and learned a bit um, don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and we will see you on the next video ta for now